asking. 90% of the people that come here actually can do it, right? The movements. But is the movement done properly? Yeah. That's, 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 that's key. And um, no, like 90% <laughs> of the people don't ever do the movements properly. Um, all, right. all right, let's get started. Yeah. Um, so welcome to the show. Uh, we were talking beforehand and I wanted to, I was telling you why I wanted you on the podcast because my goal is to seek out pretty much the best in the business in health, fitness, wellness, nutrition. And I've known you for several years, man. We go back and I think you're an expert when it comes to fitness. And one of the cool things is before preparing for this interview, I was checking out your background on your website, just your bio. And I think it said you'd been doing CrossFit since 2006. Yeah. Is that right? That's correct. And so I just think of you being like an OG in the CrossFit game. Like you've been doing it from the beginning, right? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it started in what, 2004. So um, I think I'm considered like between the first gen, or not really even the first gen, but like second generation uh, CrossFitters. I don't even know if it's like considered generations of CrossFitters, but um, yeah, uh, there's a lot of people that started CrossFit before me. Um, what, San Francisco CrossFit, when I started there, I think they were uh, number 50, 50, number 50 or number 100, and um, they were already like a year in, so a year and a half in. And they were from, and by the way, I didn't even introduce you. This is, I'm with, I'm, I'm so excited. I didn't even introduce, I'm with Angel Orozco. You are the head coach for Telegraph CrossFit in San Francisco. Yep. Right. Uh, and then you also have a sister gym, City CrossFit, which mm -hmm. is in the Mission District. And that gym's flourishing as well. Yep. And um, yeah. Yeah, so, my brother runs that one. Sean Pacer. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, I mean, yeah, going back, I remember when CrossFit first started, in the beginning, it was just kind of crazy, right? It, it almost felt like there was no uh, system in place. It was just kind of like a lot of <clears throat> high high rep this, do this, yeah. and there was no real systemization. Yeah, yeah. you know, what, it, what, it, what I think CrossFit originally started off as was th with an intention of um, building, building something greater than what was uh, the global gym, right? That's where I started off at. Um, I started off at 24 hour fitness when I was like 24. So it was at 2004 and, um, yeah, nobody likes me. I made a, I made a medicine ball out of sand and a basketball and it leaked like once a week, <laughs> you know, and people are always complaining. I get written up. So what do you mean you got written up? Um, you know, you can't, um, you can't plug your iPod into an iPod. Uh, wow. <laughs> you can't plug your iPod into the speaker system. Um, but you were a coach at 24 hour fitness. I was a trainer. A trainer. At, at, yeah. Trainer yeah. at 24 hour fitness. And, uh, nobody, nobody wanted to, to, uh, find that, uh, their, 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 their barrier. Nobody wanted to break through that. And, um, everybody just felt comfortable on the treadmill, on the sets and reps, you know, and, you know, taking breaks and whatnot. <laughs> so, uh, nobody wanted to evolve. Nobody, nobody. Yeah. I mean, there it was change a, is hard. I there, noticed there, that there, everybody's, you know, the thing is, is there are people that want to, that want to change. And those people are athletes, sport athletes. So football players, soccer players, whatever, baseball players, whatever. And if they went into the gym, those are the guys that were like, stay away from that guy because He's an athlete. Yeah. Right? And um, CrossFit is trying to create everybody as an athlete. Right? Like my grandfather, he's 80 years old, and he does CrossFit. And he trains here twice a week. So, you know, people always laugh. It's like, oh, man, well, your grandfather's super fit. It's like, no, he's not super fit. He's actually, he hurts himself all the time. He eats noodles every <laughs> every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you know, and um, he's just here learning how to move. He's here um, being aware of his body. He's here knowing that he's old, he needs to stretch, he needs to be active, he doesn't work anymore, he's retired. So 
um, that's what CrossFit originally wanted to do, I think. And, um, well, I know that that's what they wanted to do. They want to have everybody be an athlete. So that's pretty cool to, to, to think that, right? Um, I, even my grandmother right now, she doesn't really work out, but I see her as an athlete. As if she does come in here, she's like doing her little thing. <laughs> like Tai Chi you know? or something. Yeah, I remember, yeah, yeah. I've seen your grand, your grandmother. Yeah. Doesn't she come in here? She like boss you around or something. <laughs> she <right>? lecture me. <laughs> yeah. Lecture me. Yeah, it's it's great because I need it. <laughs> yes. Three kids later, thirty nine. <sighs> still get lectures. Of course. Yep. So you said a couple of things I want to unpack. Uh, one thing you talked about was athletes. You see athletes coming into the gym, and these are like the yeah, these are the guys that are changing the game because they want to get to the highest level of performance. And so they'll do anything. To, they'll do whatever it takes. So just out of curiosity, and I don't know the answer, that's why I want to ask, are athletes, I mean, sports, sports nutrition, sports uh, medicine, sports um, athleticism has changed over the years. Are they using, do you see a lot of athletes using CrossFit? Um, I'll be football players, basketball players. Is that common? You know, CrossFit is, I would I would say no. Okay. I would say th their their athletic trainer who is insured, <laughs> who is overseen by the the front office, yes. right? They have to make protocols so that it goes through the chain to be all, uh, allowed to do. So I don't think CrossFit is, no, people aren't doing that, that high level athleticism. They're not doing CrossFit, right, right? right? Where it's like buying 100 dumbbell snatches, then 100 pull-ups, 100 thrusters, and then 100 calories. They're, they're not doing that. Right. Why, though? <laughs> why? Because um, CrossFit be, claims because to be like, this is the fittest man or the fittest woman on earth. Yes. So why would they not? Is it just because... Like they need to be doing also sports specific things. Yes, or exactly. the other thing I'm thinking is like I'm I'm a, I, I'm a big into martial mixed martial arts, and I know I would do CrossFit stuff as I would box and stuff, but at the same time like I can't torch my biceps on some kind of hundred rep yeah. thing and then yeah. go box like yeah. my arms are jealous. exactly. I don't know. Is that the reason? No, or? no. Um, the thing is, is it needs to be conducive of what their sport is, right? Um, if if you want to say. CrossFit is constantly varied functional mu movements executed, executed at high intensity, then yeah, all athletes do that. All athletes do CrossFit. My grandfather does CrossFit. Right, okay. Right? Like to, to, if you just label it just that. But I think CrossFit now, it's not seen as that. CrossFit's seen as like the box. CrossFit's seen yeah. as that workout, right? 100%. Um, don't get hurt, you know, go to CrossFit, don't get hurt, right? right. That's what, that's what CrossFit's seen at. So, um, it's, it's, it sucks. Cause you don't, I want to say people do CrossFit. I want to say, yeah, CrossFit's the way, but man, there's just so many haters out there. <laughs> They're going to fucking hate on me, <laughs> you know? So I, I kind of have to be PC about it. Um, don't be PC on this podcast. Yeah. No, don't be PC. <laughs> yeah. That's, but, what, that's um, what I want. I want to break the rules here. Yeah. Then, then you know what? I think that... Because um, something you said earlier, too, I think was cool, is you said, uh, which I didn't even think about, is you said, dude, CrossFit is just movement. Yeah. And like that right there, I was like, oh, I didn't even think about that. Like, yeah. it, you're really just changing the paradigm on, on movement. But once you start, of course, like once you start labeling things and like you said, CrossFit's the box, CrossFit's 100 reps, then yeah, people are going to be pissed off and say, no, you shouldn't do CrossFit or no, I'm not, I don't want to fit into this category. I'm not CrossFit or you're CrossFit, right? Yeah. But I think you follow Ido Portal, no. the movement guy, but you know who he is. Mm -hmm. No, you don't. Okay. So Ido Portal's, it's funny that you said CrossFit is movement. So Ido Portal is all about movement and you see him doing a lot of, he has like a martial arts background, um, like almost like, uh, probably what wushu or kind of that kind of and gymnastics. Okay. And he really, he, you know, he teaches seminars like a thousand dollars probably just on how to move and all this movement and movement is key, but he wouldn't be doing CrossFit. He's almost big on just mobility and expressing the body through movement, kind of like move nat, that mm -hmm. whole, um, modality, but he would say the same thing that 
uh, movement is the key. And yeah. that was something that you said is, don't yep. just cr dude, CrossFit's just movement. So yeah. yeah, can you expand on that? Yeah, so there, there are exercises uh, within CrossFit that are their base movements. And um, <laughs> how do I explain this? Um, people have to be able to pull, push, squat, whatever, whatever the movements are. And um, whether it's loaded, not loaded, um, the, the parameter on it is be able to do the best you can with the uh with 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 the bare minimum so if it's a if it's if it's a squat then squat to the best of your ability but if it's an overhead squat that's just a progression and if you have the mobility if you have the stability if you have the coordination then go ahead and do this exercise because it's just way more difficult yeah so um that's where the movement is, 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 is allowing people to digress, progress in its base exercises. Um, Push-up, for example. Um, a handstand push-up. Like, I don't even like doing handstand push-ups. It just hurts my shoulders. I feel like I overload my traps. Um, I hate doing push-ups, but I love benching, right? Benching. Uh -huh. Benching is a pushing exercise, right? It's you're not prone, you're supine. Um, I mean, you, you, there's just so many ways to look at movement. Um, that's it. Just it's just move. <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. I remember when I was training with you. I trained with you for about a year, and I remember that was one of the things that uh, attracted me to your training too. Is that you kind of like you said the whole labeling of CrossFit. And I remember at one time, uh, you know, I had uh, some knee issues and you kind of customized some workouts for me. And you were like, yeah, man, you don't need to do all this stuff. Like just because the water of the day says this yep. doesn't mean it's right for you. Yeah. And I thought that was cool. You didn't get into this like, you know, dude, that, that's the water of the day. You have to do this. And yeah. no, you're like, no, let's program this around for like what you just said. Like, um, I bench yeah. better than I, I push I evolved. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. Um, you but you weren't that way in the beginning then. Were you, nah, man, if, you if fucking, I were to come you to you in the beginning oh, yeah. and I was saying. I was, I, if you didn't do it, I would have called you a bitch. You thought I was weak. You thought I was, I was like, no, you were a bitch. Yeah. You're a punk. <laughs> like, you're a punk. Like, like, you're just not strong enough. You're, you're you don't not have the strong mental fortitude enough. You, to just you do have, this. You have this knee issue that you're not taking care of because, I don't know, you're fucking sitting all day. Yeah. It could, be, it could have just been that simple. I would have just made some shit up so I can, yeah. I, so I can make myself feel better about pushing you right. to see what your limits are, right? Ah, then that's the problem with CrossFit, right? <laughs> <laughs> Is you have newbie coaches, you have, uh, not that I was not experienced, I was experienced, but I wasn't experienced with um, diverse individuals and um, injured individuals more so. That's, um, that would probably be where I feel um, that's where I am now is if anybody comes through the door with whatever injury it is, um, I feel like I can train them. Um, unless it's like something inside, like heart problems. But anything like you're not talking structural. About, like, you're not talking, when you say heart, you're not talking about like courage or like no, no, fortitude. No, 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 you're talking no, no, about no. like I'm, actual I'm heart, talking physical about heart. like, yeah, like, like I had yeah, a guy okay. come here. He was like, yo, I had a heart attack. <laughs> I had a stroke two weeks ago. I was like, um, you should just go get a doctor's note. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to kill you, you yeah. know? <laughs> Do I have an AED in here? <laughs> you, know? you, you should, uh, <laughs> yeah, you should just walk around the block. Yeah. Yeah, before exactly. you, and that's movement, right? But like, fuck, yeah, dude. Like, like you, that's what you should be doing. Like, hey, you know, the other day we had a workout. It was crazy. 50 squats a mile run. 50 pull-ups a mile run. 50 burpees a mile run. 50 push-ups a mile run. I think that's all. How long did that take? It took me like 60 minutes. Jeez. But like if I had that guy do it, like I would just have him walk <laughs> around the block and it would take him 60 minutes. Yeah. Right? But cool, check. That's your workout. So, I mean, 
yeah, you know, people can still do CrossFit even even at that, um, you know, quote unquote, injured um, a lifestyle or life. Um, but that guy's moving. Yeah, right? he's walking. So that's all yeah. I care about. And him, for, I'm sure for him, like he realized he had the heart attack, and it triggered like holy shit, I had no awareness of how I'm trashing my body with food and lifestyle, whatever. And so I'm sure for him it was, I need to make a drastic change. I know, CrossFit. CrossFit's the answer. So he comes in and talks to you, and then he probably gets the realization, dude, you need to just do some basic things first. <laughs> yeah. Then you can yeah. come see me. Then, yeah. I'm not your guy right now. Yep, yeah. exactly. Um, and you know what? Even just when I walked in, we're talking about balance and how you've grown and just balance. Even on your board right here, you have written down mechanics, consistency, and then intensity. Yeah. Right? So, yep. I mean, even that, can you kind of expand on that? I, I, to me, that just says everything that kind of what we're talking about is that there's foundation. There's levels to this. Yep. Yeah. Um, so, you know, the, the, the concept of mechanics is, um, is individualized. And I think that's where our gym really does well. Um, you know. And why? God. Why? <clears throat> and what do you mean because by like, unpacked mechanics? Like, what does that mean? Biomechanics, um, the way people walk? Biomechanics. Yeah. Biomechanics, yeah. Um, the, again, you know, we're, we're, we're a bougie-ass gym, right? We, <laughs> we, we're, we, 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 if we don't want someone in here, we're going to just tell them this is not the right place for you, right? And if um, the... 24-hour fitness has plenty of spots for you. Yeah, yeah. SF yeah. Fitness is right down the way. Um, so Where you were at the other day, by the way, I saw you. Yeah, I know, I know. That was actually kind of funny. Anyway. Um, you know what was really funny on that? <laughs> so many people thought that I was gonna work there. I thought you were. Like, I saw your story, <laughs> and I'm like, what is he doing? Oh my god, Did, is he working there? Yeah, and then no. I, and then luckily I kept watching the story. I'm like, oh, phew. he's just, yeah. he's just, he's, I mean, he's just that, coaching people at a competition. People that has known me for a long time. We're like, wait, what? You're going to be working at SF Fitness? And I was like, fuck, dude, that's, that's kind of crazy. Boop. Family just walked in. <laughs> yeah. Look at What's that up, guy. Um, <laughs> that's the man. Um, anyways, <laughs> mechanics. So um, let, me, let, me, let me think about this here for a quick second. So when someone comes in here, the first thing that they do is they're just kind of like looking to talk to somebody. Right. So they always just stay around here. So what I always want to do is I just want to kind of like show them, hey, you know what? This is this is what we have here. News and updates. So they yeah. can understand that it's part of our community. We have a community one. And that's what a lot of people want. They want yeah. to feel like I think that's why they don't go to the gym is because they're just benching by themselves or whatever. Right. So yep. they, I want them to feel like there's a community. So we have that news and updates. And then next, what I want them to know is, is even though it is a group environment, because that's the unfortunate thing about, you know, quote unquote CrossFit is it's, it's a group fitness class, right? So what happens in that group fitness class is that individual um, training can go away, but we don't look at it that way. We look at it as, as the coach has an hour to spend coaching each person based off of whatever exercise is programmed. And now, so the way we program things here is we always have a warm up, and we don't wanna, we, it's a generalized warm up, so it's not a specific warm up. But when people come here, we tell them, hey, you know what? How are you feeling? Oh, I'm really tight. Okay, hey, these are the top two exercises that you should do if your hips are tight. These are the top three exercises if your neck is tight, or whatever the case is. So then, if they're doing something and they look like they're just fucking <laughs> laying on the ground, just you know, doing nothing, then we just go up to them, right? So um, the mechanics on that is um, in the warm up. We're not really focused on that as so much, but more so during the workout. It's a, it's it's a specific exercise, right? So um, we teach the movement, and if they are not doing the movement properly then we just go and help them individually. So then after yeah. mechanics is the consistency. So um, the hardest thing that I had to do here at the gym is create a membership that was um, a three day a week membership. I, for the longest time, I did not want to do that. Why? 
Because I want people to be like committed, <laughs> right? And three times a week is not committed. Um, but don't you think for like, for example, uh, I joke around, I was joking around with you prior and how my life is just so busy because yeah. I have two kids and then you're like, dude, I have three kids. So you beat yeah. me. But I, yeah. I talked about like, just, Hey, I don't, I have, maybe my time is limited for mm -hmm. one. And then even going back to the guy that came into you with the heart condition, like he probably shouldn't be in here. fight. like, yeah. we need to just kind of ease him in. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, so, so yeah, then, then, then exactly. The realization is, is my kids were growing up. I had a lot more responsibility outside of the gym. And then, I mean, someone that works out twice a day, four times a week minimum, right? Um, <clears throat> that was your life for yeah, years I mean, and years. Like, yeah, I mean, if not seven days, seven days right? Yeah, like actually. I would work out every single day, and yeah. my recovery was sleep or whatever I, you know, between workouts. Yeah. So um, those days just kept getting shorter, non-existent to the point where I was only maybe working out like one time a week. Yeah. Right? And if I could just get on like a bike for like 20 minutes. So then I realized that the consistency um, is something that the people that want, their intention is to do good, but they just can't always come here. Yeah. That I just want them to be consistent in coming. And if they're consistent what in coming. What their definition is of consistency, right? Yeah. Yeah. And so even though it says consistency, not necessarily consistency of movement, but consistency of just being here. Because if you're here, you're moving. Yeah. Right? Yep. And then um, and then intensity. Shit, come an extra day. All right? Load the bar up. Go a little harder. So it's very general. It's not, it's not only about movement. It's more of kind of like, I always say that like it's my holistic approach of, of CrossFit. Right? Um, but yeah. That's that's why that's why we have that there, and we, we we try to explain this to people that come here because you know we're just not we're not just another trainer, right? We actually really do care about people that come through, and um, that's hard for people to accept. Like people are so used to having a job where your boss hates you, <laughs> right? Like your job, yeah. Fucking hell of people hate you. That, not just my people that I work with, but actually people <laughs> in the universe, in the Pe world. Yeah, that people interact that with. you help out yeah. hate you. Right, yeah. That's a tough pill to fall. Thanks for reminding me. Yeah, yeah. right? And so, I mean, the same thing here is, yeah. is um, you know, luckily I could say a lot of things that you can't say. I guess maybe, I don't know. <laughs> yes, you can. You can. Yeah. You can say, yeah. yes. <laughs> right? Um, I don't have a First Amendment right, right now. <laughs> yeah. One day I will, but yeah. not right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, so um, yeah, like that's that's what we want to express to to people is, is our intention of why we have uh, like why we have rent. <laughs> yeah, and I think the cool thing goes back to just your evolution, uh, and I th I think anybody coming in the door, CrossFit can be intimidating, right? And so just seeing like oh okay, we're gonna start with mechanics and a mm -hmm. foundation. It's not all. And I remember when I first started like. I wanted to just jump right in because yeah. I was kind of hard gainer mentality. That was just my mentality. Go hard, go home like you. Yep. And you were like, no, dude, you have to actually, I need to see you move. Yep. Like I think three times or yep. something. We had to like do three privates. Yep. And you had me going through just a set of exercises and loads and you just kind of seeing my body move, et cetera, et cetera, before you were like, now you can get into the class. And even yeah. then it was <clears throat> slow to start for me, but you wanted to see me move. That was the big thing. So Yeah. Well, the thing is, 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 you know, I can, I can, it's called the fundamentals course, right? That we have, and it's three sessions, hour with one of the one of our coaches, and um, we have our baseline exercises that we want to instruct. And I would say probably ninety percent of the people that come here actually can do it, right? The movements, but is the movement done properly? Yeah, that's 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 key. And um, no, like <laughs> ninety percent of the people don't ever do the movements properly. So that's why we have that. And if and if and if there is that ten percent, like you know, I had um, some guy was like, "Hey man, hey, if you can do a muscle up, I'm just gonna like let you pass the fundamentals." Does a muscle up? I'm like, "All right, I got to keep my word." Then doesn't even know how to squat. Yes. I was like, Fuck. Whoops. Right. Yeah. So just because you can do something, <laughs> it's just because you I don't know because you're lighter or you're, you've done it before or whatever. 
doesn't mean you can move on other things. Yeah. And so there are other exercises. And one of the basic exercises that I have people do right when they get here is, is a push-up. Because people are like, oh, yeah, I could do push-ups. I'm like, all right, well, let's just do like, I don't know, five push-ups, ten push-ups, whatever. And all of a sudden, you just see how they're just like, you know, looking like a so for example, dog. yeah, push-ups. So what are people doing wrong? To me, that seems basic. Oh, the elbow we've been flares out. We've been doing push-ups in PE for yeah, they're back, thousands of years. Their <laughs> back is hyperextended, right? Their knees so are caving in. So just off the push-up, you can see like mechanical oh, just faults. So, just so many and things. Like, so many highlights of what their issue is. Yeah. Um, and I mean, it's only. It, I mean, it's 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 not like a f the first rep or two. You know, you have to kind of like get them warmed up, um, allow them to. Um, give you, um, you know, good data. Yeah. If you just have them warm, hey, okay, I'm going to... Because I could do five good ones for you. Yeah, but exactly. While, but, I mean, I'm going to have you, you know, jog. I'm going to watch how you jog for a quick second. I'm going to have you stretch out on your own, see where your head is at. So, I mean, there's a few, th like, key trainer things that we do so that we can um, assess the individual and then uh, allow for proper, kind of like a proper starting point. Yeah. And then that proper starting point is then, you know, is, is then provided throughout that three days. When people will come in to you, what do you think, just one or two, or, or like the most common biomechanical faults that you see when they come in? Is it like their the knees come in? I would say they're either their knees, they're, they're like their arc, the foot of their, um, their foot drops in. The arc drops, the knee turns in. Like when they're squatting, um, they call it like no, just like walking. Really, just walking, just like like that. Interesting. Yeah, um, or the toes will turn out. Okay, like I see that a lot. What do they call that? The duck walk or the pigeon? No, walk their something? piriformis is tight. Like even like you just look around here. They, everyone's <laughs> you're trying tight. to find you're trying to yeah, find an example yeah, in the gym here. I cannot right now. <laughs> but um, anybody <laughs> you, that you, turns come over yeah, here. And walk anybody that here. just turns a toe out like that. Just like that. Wow, oh, that's so interesting. Yeah. Just in the, the feet. duck walk. The duck walk. I call yes. it the duck walk. All right. Their knees are pointed straight though. <laughs> I can't do it. Yeah. It's so hard to do it. I can't do that. What about um and like you said, posture. I know that's a big problem for me, just that like I start from the ground posture. up. I start from the ground up. That's number one. I just see like Yeah, the feet splayed out or yeah. whatever. Duck um, walk. Yeah. And posture. Everyone has bad posture. Yeah. Everybody everybody's everybody's shoulders are forward, everybody's pecs are tight, everybody's rhomboids are weak. Um, lats are lengthened, right? Weak. The lats so, are lengthened, you said? Yeah. They're just pulled out that way. Um, yeah, I would say, like, th that's, that's... That's like 90% of that people like that come in. That's like 99.9%. Yeah. Wow. Um, then you get, like, the athlete that comes in that can do the muscle-up, and they're probably, like, an ex-football player or something like that. Yeah. And they just – they can't even overhead squat a 35-pound bar because their pecs are so tight because they used to bench press 315 for, like, 30 reps or something like that, you know? Yeah. And so then they're – then they're – they have shoulder issues, which then leads to neck issues. And when they deadlift, they round their back. <laughs> so it's just like yeah. boom, 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 boom. Okay. Yeah. So and it's like not, it's not it just the out of shape tech right. person that comes in. It could definitely sometimes be that, that ex-football player that has an issue. Yeah, so that's why we, hold, we have that fundamentals for everybody. And if, um, you know, I mean, if they, can, if, they can, if they can overhead squat a bar and or if, they can, if they can do like 90% of the stuff, 99%, 80%, whatever it is, and I feel confident knowing that one, they know that it's all about making sure that your movement is done properly, right? Because you can get someone that doesn't know anything that you're going to be like, no, dude, you cannot just go fucking ham. You got to chill the fuck out. Yeah. Or then you have the athlete that's like, hey, I don't want to go ham. I know I've gone through that. I want to be able to know how to have proper mechanics so that I can have um, a longer a long life yeah. uh, of, of fitness, then, you know, that's the person that we want in this gym. So we, we also use that concept right there yep. to screen people. Yep. Yeah. Talk to me about injuries and injury rehab. I know you had 
two ACL surgeries? Yeah, uh, no, one. Just so one. So ACL, MCL, meniscus, Jesus. and one that was all, surgery. That was all one surgery. Yeah, I think – so I went skiing, and that's when I really heard it. But then when it, like – when I was, like, crying mommy – Yes. <laughs> oh, that's when I land. That's like no impact land off of rebound right? playing basketball. Like that's oh, how that wow. happens. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so it wasn't a CrossFit because everyone no, likes no, to, no, everyone no, likes no, to no, talk no, shit no, about fuck, CrossFit fuck, and that that's the reason fuck, people no. get injured. Nobody blah, fucking blah, blah, gets injured blah. doing it wasn't CrossFit. A CrossFit thing. People yeah. get injured doing multiple things wrong. And okay, and well then maybe CrossFit exposes it, right? And, and CrossFit or, exposes it, and yeah. then the trainer that is that sees it that is not making sure that their mechanics is, is, is in line allows that, then that's how, yeah, that's how the injuries happen. So it's not the person it's, it's, it's the lack of the person, if anything, right? It's the lack of the attention wow. to detail. Um, that's how the injuries occur. Um, and then I actually just had a meniscus tear, um, doing jujitsu, not jujitsu. Um, um, yeah, no, jiu-jitsu, I think, I don't even know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it's something yeah. where you put a gi on, a touch other men, and just yeah. roll around. Yeah, well, I, it was I like, I it know. was, I didn't have the gi, so what is it, no gi, no gi jiu-jitsu? Yeah. yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Are you still doing that? No, no. man, that's... Okay. <laughs> that was it. That was it, okay. like, I was like, you know what, I'm going to try to roll around and see how I like it. I was kind of digging it, but then I, re I literally remember that day where I just like, dude, my knee's fucked and um i then put on a, a knee sleeve yeah and then it kind of was like oh getting better but basically the knee sleeve was just going over the mat so i wasn't torquing through my knee i think that's really um yeah i did i did a lot of damage it was pretty fucked up in there too um so <clears throat> yeah those are my injuries what did recovery look like for you then recovering off the acl or the cl or the mcl so like, the how acl you, how did you tackle so that that, and that first and with your knowledge in CrossFit and just fitness overall, were you able to come back faster, or do you think? Yeah. Or? So my old boss Kelly. Yeah. Right. Kelly Star. Right. We're talking about K Star. Yeah, K Star. <laughs> he um, helped me um, get back to working order by giving me um, this like tens unit. Yeah. So I had that what, sucker what, was on. Was that the Mark Pro? Uh, you, no, this one was, was like pre Mark Pro. <laughs> like, yeah, it, it was like a suitcase. Oh, wow. And um, so I had that TENS unit, used that, um, ate clean. Um, so just trying to wait, stay away from, um, you know, gluten. Um, that's hard. But, yeah, <laughs> um, <laughs> I, love me, I love me some sourdough bread. Yeah. And, um, and I just, I just, I did, I just moved. Yeah. Like whatever I could do, whatever the doctor said. Guess what he said? He, he was like, "Hey, man, just listen to the doctor. Whatever he says is okay. Just, just, just listen." But if he doesn't say you can't do it, then let's go push that fucking envelope. Yeah. Right? So I mean, I was, I was rowing off of a single leg with my one leg on a skateboard. I was, <laughs> I was. Okay, there was a time where I couldn't walk on it, put any load, so I didn't put any load on yeah. it. Like, that's, like, really important not to do that. But You're not once I was able to right put away, load, like, yeah. I was like, walk without a limp. Like, you're just going to naturally want to just limp. So um, that was, like, my workout. I would just walk, like, from here to there, trying not to limp. Um and, um, yeah, my recovery on that, um, oh God, I don't even remember how fast that was, but, um, but was it, it faster though than like the average, I mean, I mean, everyone's different. I understand, but do you think it was your recovery went a lot faster than the normal? Cause I feel like most doctors, their prescription is not to move yep. and they tell you just stay still. Yeah. Don't, they really baby you. And I mean, now I've seen it getting a little bit better with the PT people getting you to move more. Yeah. But uh, in general, I just feel like there's a lot of just they don't want you. They're very cautious. Yeah, I mean it's it's which good. I think it's, they have it's, to it's, be. It's, it's, I, I think it's extremely important for the doctors to have their patients be cautious because 
they don't exercise. Yeah. If you have someone like me that they're, goes they're in. They're serving the lowest common denominator. Yeah. I mean, yeah. like, I went, in, I went into the doctor, and I was like, hey, you know, I'm a trainer. Um, I, think, I think that the PT stuff that is going to be given to me isn't going to really be beneficial. And by the way, I didn't do any PT. I went to one PT session, and I was like, this is fucking <laughs> but ridiculous. But your whole life is fitness. I was like, this is ridiculous. Around. Like, yeah. I'm not going to do this shit. Um, well, Kelly also said like, Hey, you know, do some of these things. And so I was, I've been doing those yeah. things from the get, right? Yeah, so yeah, you yeah. go to a PT and they just, it's kind of just repetitive stuff. You just got to pay your copay, which is ridiculous. Yep. So, um, yeah, my, my recovery, it seemed like I recovered, um, quicker just because I was so active. Yeah. Right. I remember I saw Kelly Starrett say something. I think his daughter or something got broke her arm or something, and he, you know, brought her to the hospital or whatever. And of course, they put a cast or something on her. And he listened to her. He he did a video on this, and he he listened to her and uh, the doctor who said, you know, yeah, 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 make sure you do this, this, and this. And then I guess he had told the doctor afterwards. He's like, hey, you know, FYI, like I I don't know what his title is, PT or what his actual. Uh -huh. Kelly Starrett. I don't know what his title is. Yeah, I think it's a doctor. It's doctor physical. Doctor therapy? of physical therapy. Yeah. So he said, he, he told the doctor, he's like, hey, just so you know, this is what I do. He's like, I'm going to do some like soft tissue mobilization and have her move. And I think the doctor kind of gave him like a look like, uh, okay. Like, like yeah. he wasn't going to say that. And no, maybe nowhere could he. But um, it was just interesting. Huh. And, and just the idea, of, like we're talking about movement and the, the body needs to move. That's yeah. That's huge. Yeah. And Definitely. You know, the, the, the thing is, is the doctors need to be safe. And, you know, if you're going to have someone like Kelly that – you know, um, has this, uh, go get, you know, get after it mentality. Um, don't, don't stick to the status quo, you know, let's, let's try to push the envelope and yeah, man, let's go ahead and do something. If it, if it's not going to injure someone, if it's not going to hold someone back, let's just give it a try. Right. Yeah. And, um, I think, I think, uh, yeah, I mean, he loves his daughter. He loves his daughters. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. I would, uh, I yeah. love my, my boys. Like I would do whatever I could if the doctor said, Hey, you know what? Don't do that because of this. Well, what is that? Right. It has yeah. to be something so severe that then I'm going to be like, all right, I'm a back off. But if it's something that the doctor's like, Hey, you know, I don't really know. Or, Hey, you know what? <laughs> you know, it just keeps his mouth quiet, then yeah, just go ahead and do that. Let's, I want to get into just some, I think, general uh, questions I want to ask you because you have such a great fitness, uh, just background and just everything from, fit, from fitness and nutrition, everything. So I want to ask you, what do you think is like the biggest hurdle getting in the way from people getting in shape? You've been around, you've been in the, the game for just, I mean, in fitness longer, but in CrossFit, what, 13 plus years. So you've seen a lot of people walk through your doors. What do you think it is? You know, you've had a pretty good, got a lot of data to look at people. What's the biggest, you think, hurdle getting in pe their people's way from being in shape? I mean, man, there's uh, the excuses, the excuses. That's all it is, <laughs> man. It's, it's, it's simple. People want to just make so many excuses of why they can't do something. And um, it has nothing to do with fitness. It's, 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 a, it's a mindset. Like, if you want to make change for your life, you know, you do it. Yeah. <laughs> it's that yeah. fucking simple. Yeah. You know? Um, it, it's tough because that's not, that's not the way we sell memberships. Right. You know? So... <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of like you know Jocko Willink the yeah, Navy yeah, SEAL. Yeah. So I think people always ask him like Jocko, I want to get better at pull ups, and he's like, "Good, go do pull ups." Yeah. Like if you want that, yeah, go do that. Why are you asking me um, how to do? <laughs> I, uh, I I I I read this book uh, to my boys, and it's uh, by him. Way and, of the Warrior um, Kid. Yeah. Nice. Exactly. And uh, my brother actually got it for uh, for Kai. My oldest. Now how old and, is Kai? Uh, Kai just turned nine. Okay, just turned I, nine last week. I got that book for my son uh, yeah. Roque, and he's he'll be six in January. Yeah, a little over his head, I think, right now for yeah. him. So I was yeah. just curious: is, was Kai pretty receptive to it? Um, you know what? Just just reading to them is good. Yeah. So 
you could just keep reading the book over and over and over. That, and that was what I was like, thinking I think too. I've read like chapter three to five, like four times. Yes. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you just, you just, you just keep reading it to them. And it got to the point that, um, my boys, uh, just wanted to start. I mean, they grew up in the gym, right? Yeah. But my boys now want to actually work out. So, so uh, real quick on that, do you, Angel or Roscoe, the fitness guy, do you push them to do that? Or how, to, or cause I know kids and yeah. I like my son, I'm trying to push him to do jujitsu. He mm -hmm. rejects it. Yeah. So yeah. what's, yeah. How do so, you gain okay, compliance yeah. oh, with perfect. kids? I Tell love me. that question. Cause I love these kids. So, um, and by the way, I, I'm watching your stories and you do, I think an amazing <laughs> job with them. It's so cool watching them. You'll put like the, what the thing, the rep scheme they're doing. It's like three rounds at 30 bucks. Yeah. I'm like, that is so cool. And yeah. Anyway, sorry. Yeah. No. So I, I just, tell them that they need to um, exercise whatever it is. And so if they, I mean, we have, we have a garage gym, uh, we have a pull-up bar downstairs, and they can do whatever they want. Um, if they watch TV, if it's a 20-minute show, 30-minute show, before they do that, they need to do at least five push-ups, um, 10 lunges, five sit-ups, just, just one time, so it's nothing. So it's just creating habit. It's just yes. creating consistency of movement. And it doesn't matter what the intensity is. Uh, the other day, I actually had um, Austin, my middle guy, he, uh, I, I made him throw up. <laughs> He got wrapped up. He got yeah, wrapped he up. Got <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, that was, whoops. You yeah. Know? yeah. And, uh, but he wasn't able to do a pull up. Austin was not able to do a pull up. Um, Kai, the older brother, made fun of him, and I said, "Austin, how old? He's Austin is eight, eight. or he's turning eight. So okay. there's yeah, yeah seven, so like a two year he'll, he'll be eight in in a, in a few weeks." And um, I just told Austin, I was like, "Hey, you remember the um, the warrior boy, the warrior kid? Yeah, right. Um, remember how his uncle always had him just." told him to just exercise, right? Or told him to do the pull-up. Yeah. And um, so why don't you just go do that? And literally now Austin can crank out like seven strict pull-ups. And he's like Six. seven years old. He just won um, the second grade PE contest for the year. And that Austin had um, part of his lung removed when he was three. Right. So he's that. not able to have like this endurance or I think that's, <laughs> that's why I forget sometimes because Kai is just like this <laughs> fucking crazy ass kid. You have him run around the block like 10 times and he still wants to go around. So um, movement, that, I, I, again, it just goes back to the movement. It's, 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 it's consistency. Uh, I have the boys train minimum two times a week downstairs in the garage. How do you do that though? How do you gain compliance with them? Are you setting the example by, are you, do you model the example and then they follow you? Um, or yeah, how is funny, that? Funny, yeah, no funny about time? that. Um, I um, coach them. So I'm, I don't let them just do whatever. I say, hey guys, um, we're gonna go downstairs and I'm gonna help teach you guys some things, okay? So, you know, like any parent, right? They wanna teach whatever it is that within the parenting values and just one of my parenting values is is you know taking care of your body yeah. and um um proper mechanics of the deadlift De dude austin deadlifted like 95 pounds the other day jesus you know like and he weighs what he's like i don't know i have no 70? idea actually <laughs> i don't even know how much he weighs That's good yeah i mean yeah. he's not that big of a kid but you know a, a seven-year-old an eight-year-old kid um so yeah so they, they, they know that I care about them exercising. Um, you know, they want to learn how to play the drums or the trumpet. So my dad teaches them music once a week. So every time, and it's nice because they only, they go to school at 930. And oh, so I cool. have this like 45 minute window where I can um, either, either have them do music or fitness. And so um, I don't push them. I, uh, I tell them, hey, like, this is extremely important, and they know I care, and so they, they see that. Plus, it's like, it's here. They see Uncle Tony, my Sushu, my brother, mom, exercise, so they, they want to do it. Um, yeah, it's the lifestyle. Yeah, lifestyle, yeah. And, if, and if they don't want to do it, then I just say, okay, well, go do something else. Like, Sometimes I have Do something this. else that expresses movement, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah. So ride the, ride the bike. 
go ride the bike around yeah. around the block a bunch of times. So it's, it's, sometimes it's just that, and I, I don't get upset about you know like him. Sometimes Kyle, sometimes Austin really doesn't want to work out. Like I do like. Okay, kettlebell swing, box jumps, burpees. I'm like, fuck that, right? <laughs> um, yes, because I just had that happen to my son. He wants to run and work out. I go, cool, let's go do a workout. I show him some stuff. I, I had him do something simple, but he got tired fast. Yeah. And he goes, I'm, I'm not doing your stupid work. Like, <laughs> he liked it for like the first round. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. it's two more times, three yeah. rounds. He's like, yeah. no, that, I'm good. Th that's why. Like, I'll just that's run just up the hill, but one, I'm not doing your other one stuff. One time, it's going to turn into two times. It's going to turn into three times. And that's, dude. Dude, I'm so patient now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Shit, man. That's what three. That's if if anything, that's what happens when you have three kids. Is you learn patience. Wow. Yeah. So I'm patient with uh, my members. I'm patient with my kids. I'm patient with myself now that I'm you know older. Yeah. These injuries that 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 sometimes linger, uh, or the, the 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 lack of my recovery. How quick I can recover after, you know that <laughs> that workout fucking crushed me. Um, I just got that, um, what do you call that? Wow. That machine that goes ba -da 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 -da. power dot? What is no, it? No, it's uh, oh, the Theragun. Yeah, the Theragun. Yeah, something one. like that. And dude, like, I have to have it on like the lowest setting, like, surface because my biceps are so fucking sore right now. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, yeah, so you know, the recovery on things are, is, is really tough, so I have to just be patient um, with that process and um. That's, I think, if anything, you know, going back to this, what we have up here in the, in, in the front of the gym is this idea of, hey, you know what? Don't worry about the intensity. Intensity will come when you're ready. Yeah, being patient. Yep. I was going to ask you what's the biggest change that, for you personally over the years? How have you evolved as an athlete? And I kind of feel like maybe you just answered it. And would you say that that is what it is, is it the patience factor? I mean... <laughs> Like if for if, me, so ask that question again. Yeah. So, you know, I think like, I'm just curious. I know for myself, I, as a dad and as a parent and just working a lot and doing stuff on the side for me, working out is still a part of my lifestyle, but now I do things that are, I'm like, Hey, I got 10 minutes and I'm going to go out and do Tabata burpees and that's going to be my eight minute workout or yeah. I got this thing called an X3 bar where it uses band resistance and I'll just do one set to failure. I'll do four different movements. Uh, one day will be pushing, one day will be pulling. If I go pretty hard, I can be done in 10 minutes and get a solid pump. Am I going to be the fittest guy in the world? No, I know my limitations, but I know at least I'm keeping that lifestyle up and I feel good. I feel good with the movement, but I know that's the biggest thing for me that's changed. I don't see myself being in the CrossFit gym for an hour like I used to, but I'm still practicing m my form of movement. Uh, it's just time compressed. Mm -hmm. So I was curious for you, same thing, you know, like you said, I've been in the gym seven days a week and if you weren't, you're <laughs> so <laughs> what's, and then I know the other thing for me, like getting older is just recovery. So I was just curious, what's changed for you, you think the most, how do you, um, what's changed for you as far as, hey, like you said, I'm a dad with three kids. Like, yeah. I own a CrossFit gym, but am I in here seven days a week? I, mean, uh, I don't know, are you? Man, it's, uh, it's, it's tough for me, dude, because, you know, you're in, you're in it and you're fit for this period of time in your life. And then, you know, you make bad decisions, which <laughs> then leads you into getting fat. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I'm not fat. I'm just like no, not you look great, fit. I'm just like I'm just not as fit as I used to be. Yes. Right. And um, man, I love traveling. I love eating. I like. I was just joking around with the class. I was like, you know what? You know when people binge drink. I don't binge drink. I don't like to drink. Um, I binge Chinese eat. Like, that's what I do. <laughs> Like, I go to fucking... If anybody follows your Instagram, <laughs> that is a fact. Yes. You are always eating amazing food. Yeah. You know? Noodles. And sushi. <laughs> more noodles. Yeah, more yeah. noodles. Shabu, shabu. Yeah, dude, we actually had that last night. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. All you can eat. Um, and so um, the, 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 what's changed is just really, um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't really care about how I look anymore. That's, I think, the biggest difference. But then I, um, I kind of have these, like, moments where, like, 
I don't know, someone, I think it was you that when you came, he's like, wow, you look a little skinnier, or like you're a little, a little bit more young. I was like, dude, I just, like, you just don't see the white hair, I just got a haircut. Yeah, it's the haircut. But, um, it's the glasses. Yeah, the glasses, yeah. And so, um, yeah, I, I just, I don't, I don't really care about how I look, but then there's these sporadic times that I do, and, I, and it's just like kind of like this wave where yeah. like I'll work out seven days and, and, and you know, every day in, in that, that week, that one period of week. And then other weeks where I only work out like once or twice and I'll just get on the bike for like an hour. That's it. And I just don't have the mental capacity. Um, having, having the gym, it's emotional. Uh, having to deal with the business, it's emotional. Having to deal with the wife is emotional. Yeah. The kids, emotional. So that shit takes a toll on me. Yeah. And... Um, um, that's, uh, I think one thing now that I don't, that I realize is if I, in the past, I used to just be able to like, fuck my emotions, who the fuck cares? Yes. But now I've evolved into actually dealing with these emotions are extremely important to like leveling yourself up as a, as a greater man, if you will, a yeah. uh, greater father, right. To be able to then teach my kids how to deal with <laughs> issues whatever a breakup or an f you know yes. um and uh yeah so that's that's i think how 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 things change is i'm a little bit more thorough in the process and patient in in it as well yeah so cool too i just kind of hearing you talk about it's almost like having your kids has made you a bigger person. Oh, yeah. You have to evolve and be a bit, you don't have to, but it's a pretty good idea if you evolve <laughs> and become a bigger person for them so yep. that you can model and set the example. Totally. They need that. Yeah. So uh, yeah. that's amazing. That's, that, that, that's one thing that, um, you know, when I first started off, you wanted a model for the fitter person to be here, and that was for the looks, right? You work out so hard so you could look good so that you can get clients. Like and that put was, up good wad times, I imagine, yeah, too, right? put up great wad times, right? Yeah, yeah like... This guy's legit. Nobody wants to hire a fat trainer, right? Right. And nobody, no, no son wants to be around a deadbeat father, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's the same thing, right? You have to take care of yourself and whatever those, um, those values are within that given timeline of your life, um, you kind of just highlight that a little bit and focus on that a little bit more. So unfortunately, you know, if I have to take care of Alex, then, um, yeah, that I don't work out yeah. or I, or I carve out something or I just decide, Hey, you know, just today's is not this week, this month may just not be the, the month for me to really work out that hard. Just yeah. fine. Cool. I want to do some, I think we're getting a little long in the tooth, so I want to do some like kind of rapid fire questions. Yeah. You. you ready? Yeah. Um, I come to you uh, and I want to lose weight. What should I do? What's, uh, Eat better. That's it. That's it. Eat better. Eat better. Okay, I come to you and I want to get strong. What should I do? Eat better. Go back to eat better. Eat better. You're not going to tell me eat five better. by fives or three nope. by threes. Nope. Back to eat better. Eat better. Amazing. Because you can work out so hard and you can eat a fucking burger. Then guess what happens? You're just getting fat. But we're talking about strength, though. That would still—I could be strong oh, if I want. I want to get strong, not not lose weight. I want to get strong. What's like the prescription? If you just like, you could be general too. Like. Oh, train train with me. <laughs> Perfect. Train with me. You want to okay. get strong because because if um if you, yeah train with me. Yeah, that makes sense because you can't. You can't just tell me three by threes because, like no. you, we said earlier, you come in here and you have I don't know what poor your shoulder are. flexion or something. Then, then you. I have no idea. Thing. I don't know what your weaknesses are. Yeah. So if I don't know what your weaknesses, I can't. I can't. I can't focus on those. Cool. Uh, this defeats my next. My next question was going to be: uh, I want to have more endurance. What should I do? I think <laughs> I know the answer. Come train with you. Yeah. Um, cool. What's your run fate? more, bike more? Okay. Good. Or, or no, actually, um, or like, if I mean, you want more endurance. Um, change up your um, train modalities. If you do longer stuff, do shorter stuff, high intensity stuff. So you wouldn't give like a blanket. Do Tabata this or yeah. no? Okay. No. It, because I, I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. Right? Are they trying to do a marathon? Are they trying to do 100 meter sprint? Um, are they a rower? Yeah. Yeah. Favorite piece of equipment in the gym that you like? Uh, jump rope. Really? Yeah. Why? Um, when I first started, uh, this is actually a really funny story. My brother, 
is into Muay Thai I and mean, you know Jiu Jitsu yes. and all that stuff. And he was able to do these like really high skilled jump, jumping rope exercises. And for the longest time, I couldn't do it. And so I got really good at jumping rope, and that got my endurance up. That got my um, my agility up. Uh, that developed me into I think that was kind of like the one the catalyst to develop my endurance base I don't want to say endurance base but yeah I'll just say endurance base yeah um yeah because you, you don't have to do double unders all the time you yeah. can skip rope you can move around it's um um it's not scary it's you can you can travel with it yeah, that's true. Um, you can have different, you can have a heavy rope, you can have a speed rope. So that's why I like the jump rope, because it's, it's, it's versatile to a lot of people. If someone's starting off and they're listening to this, what, <clears throat> what, what should they do with the jump rope? Three rounds of two minutes or anything? Try, to, try to, build up, try to build up to 10 minutes of jumping rope. Straight? Just, yeah. yeah. Listen to your top. Rocky Four. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, top, top three, four songs. Yeah. That, that fucking... Just keep you going. Yeah. And if you can do 10 minutes without stopping jumping rope, it's fucking badass. Try it. <laughs> I have, and uh, that's a good point. I have, uh, I have tried They're doing like 10 minutes, and I, I, I usually something happens. I'll, I'll clunk something, mm -hmm. and it, it's more challenging than you think, mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah, totally. Also on that note, and you mentioned uh, what I want to ask, is there a brand of rope that you like? Because I've gone through lots of different jump ropes, and they're all, like, different. I, I don't know. I, Man. I like Rogue for certain reasons. Then I like other brands. My I, favorite I, jump rope was this jump rope that I bought at Sports Basement for, like, four ninety five. See? Yeah. It's, like, this plastic, hard plastic jump rope. I mean, I was able to do double enders, but it doesn't last so much with double enders. But for single jump ropes, it was my favorite jump rope. It's yeah. it's, it's perfect weight. It's not too light. Um, um, it's it's not it's not wiry. So if you try to like cross over, yeah. it yeah, comes it comes it's, loose. Yeah. yeah, it comes loose immediately if you try to cross over. Um, but yeah, I don't even know yeah. the name of that jump rope. It's like what's what's the what whatever Everlast one of those famous something. brands are. It's just a generic brand. Okay. Diet that any special diet back in the day, paleo was the big issue oh, for CrossFit. Man. Are you doing keto so, now? You hear so, carnivore. Any diets you've experimented oh, with that you had a lot just, of success just with? Just don't fucking binge eat. That's like that's like that's that's the hardest thing for people to do. Like even for myself. Like, but I you're know, not following anything as far as like it has to be. I ma I, I do macros Monday through Friday, and then um, what does that mean for people? What, what is macros? Uh, macros basically you get protein, carbs, and fat, and you're just allotted X amount of grams uh, for each one of those sections. You just track it on a fitness app or a, a app calorie app. My Fitness Pal. Okay. Yeah. And um, it, it, it's really cool because if you want to have some chips, you can just scan the code, uh, nice. the CRV code. And then, is it CRV code? Yeah, I think it's called Something the CRV like that, code. Yeah. And then literally just pops up and generates their nutritional stuff. And you can say, hey, I had 14 chips or had one serving or whatever it is. Boom, and it just automatically gets bumped into this macros. And that way you can um, see what you've eaten, what more you're allotted throughout the day. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, I hate, I, I don't like people going on diets. I think yeah. just people need to just be more aware. Here, here, here it is. And this is like the biggest thing right now, right? Being vegan. Like that's oh, what yeah, I'm especially best. after that movie came out, Game Changers. Right? Yeah, yeah. And I, I do that. Like I saw that movie literally that night. I cooked a steak, and I was like, Game <laughs> Change, the Game Changers, right? <laughs> In honor of the movie, yeah. I'll be eating the steak. You know, I, I fucking love steak, but yeah. you know what? I had a salad with it. All right, I had um, what else? I had some beets, some lentils. Right? Yeah. Like, like people make fun of me. If balance, I was, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, 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 just eat more vegetables. Don't overconsume meat. Don't overconsume chips. Don't binge eat Chinese. You know, um, for the general person, just just you know, move yeah. and eat well. Yep. Yeah, you're right. Um, favorite mobility tool. Favorite mobility tool. I don't have a favorite mobility tool. What about that Theragun that you're using? The Theragun. I just got it. Okay, so you're just experimenting got it. with that. Um, 
But would you say in general for everybody, if they just have like a lacrosse ball, like that's probably good enough? God, like I don't even use a lacrosse ball. I just use the corner of my couch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so get on the corner of your couch yeah. and use that. Yeah, like everybody it, has a corner of a couch, yeah, most likely. Yeah, you know, or the I have this like reclining chair. I get like my lower back on it. <laughs> you really you know, evolved, I have like my friend. Fifteen foam rollers here, but I use. I don't. I don't. I, yeah, I don't think. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna. I, I don't yeah. have a favorite mobility tool. Okay, I think if anything, um, people should have a band. Oh, okay. Because bands can be used for banded exercises, resistance training. Um, they can use it for stretching out a little bit. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, like I would say a band would probably be my go-to answer for yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could travel with that and stuff like that. You could travel with it, too. Yeah, okay, yeah. cool. Yep. A um, couple more questions. Again, you've been in the game for a long time. Anybody that inspires you or that you follow uh, in the fitness health world? Uh, man, in, in, in fitness, um, man, uh, that's, that's, that's tough. I would still say Greg Glassman because... Wow. Um, I wasn't expecting you to say that. That's yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. And the thing about it is, is he's, 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 he's kind of a weird dude. And Greg dude. Glassman, for those that are, that's the founder that's of CrossFit, That's the founder right? of CrossFit, yeah. He, he's, he's a weird dude, you know? But... Um, Dude, he 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 still he still has me loving this shit, right? And uh, I started I started fucking geeking out on CrossFit from the beginning, and I still geek out on it. I just have a different approach on how I sell it. Yeah. And um, there are so many CrossFits out there, so he's 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 changing the world. Yeah. And uh, people people I, I I just don't think people give him enough credit for for what he's done. Um, haters are gonna hate. <laughs> you know, and and that's fine. Let them hate. Yeah. Um, there's look look how many people's lives changed from CrossFit. CrossFit. Um, that's how we met. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And true. Greg Glassman. He sold that shit. Yeah. So you know, is he fit? <laughs> no. Yeah. You know, is he is he is he? You know, I'm not. I'm. I'm much respect to him. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Um. This is probably my last question. Favorite, if you had one, one, two, three books, what would be your top one or top one to three oh, books that you'd recommend man. people? I don't, I don't read. really read books. Audiobooks. I, I, I don't, I don't really Nothing. read books. You know, I, 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 I listen to podcasts. Um, I do a lot of, um, I, I, I look at a lot of like Instagram stuff, which is terrible, <laughs> and I, and I kind of just like. I like do that. I don't want to say like as research. That's but your that's your way of learning, though. That's the way you're acquiring information. Yeah, in. yeah. I was never I was not I was never a book guy, which yeah. is it's so hard for me to publicly say that. Um, but if I do read a book, I can, man, it's 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 it, I only get through like halfway of the book. Yeah, and then it seems like I kind of get in this like repetitive learning stage, and I'm like I just need something new. That's maybe why I like CrossFit so much, but. Um, one person that I would say that I actually listen to quite often in, in, in on like podcasts yeah. would be um, that guy Andy Frasilla. I never heard of him. Um, he's uh, his podcast, I think, is called the MFCEO, and um, yeah, he's he's he 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 talks a lot about um, values and the way you should run your business, way you should run your life. Um, I mean, he talks a lot. He talks a lot about a lot of stuff. Yeah. Um, but more so, it says, "How can you be the MFCEO of your own life?" The right? MFC meaning like motherfucking CEO. Motherfucking CEO. I knew MF. I just yeah, didn't know. Okay. Motherfucking CEO. Yeah. And it's just like taking ownership of literally everything. That's very cool. Um, there's all these books that can teach you the mindsets and the uh, the habits that you should build, but you know, sometimes people like me that just need to be like told, don't make excuses. There's all these guidelines out there. Yeah. How come you're not following any of these guidelines? You read all these books that I've read in the past. Yep. But I don't follow I it. Do Why it, am I not execute. following it? Why am I not executing? Yeah. Right? Just fucking do it. Yeah. And so um, that's probably one, one, of the, one of the guys that I probably listen to the most while walking my dog. That's cool. Yeah. You should definitely start listening. 
Uh, yeah, I am. Because uh, I want to be a motherfucking CEO. <laughs> yeah. And then any rituals or – I'm a big guy on, like, certain rituals or habits or hacks that I do daily. So I always tell people like, – some people do, like, gratitude journaling in the morning mm-hmm. to prime their mindset. Is there anything you do, like, on a daily basis, you know, kind of that you think um, everyone should be doing and you're almost surprised, like, oh, um, I'm surprised people don't do this more. Like, this is such a game changer for me. Oh, uh, man. You know what? Yeah, I do. I make sure that I show my family my love. That's like the number one thing. So I make sure I, if, I if, if, if they're sleeping already, I make sure I give everybody a kiss good night. Um, every morning, I make sure I always say good morning, give them a kiss good morning, that's it. Um, it's too much shit in this world, you know? At the end of the day, I just got my family. You know, if, 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 if my family's healthy, my, if, if, if there's love, you know, everything's gonna be good. Dude, that is amazing. And let's end on that. Angel Orozco, cool. Telegraph CrossFit, freaking amazing. Last but not least, where can people find you? Maybe you don't um, want people to find you. But yeah, <laughs> you can. Uh, we're at uh, Telegraph CrossFit on IG, or it's uh, telegraphcrossfit.com on the website. Awesome. Yep. My man. Cool, dude. Thank you. Thank you.